Welcome, we have a linear relationships video on a point lies on a line. A point lies on a line if the x and y values of the point make the equation of the line work properly. Now that's my plain English version, working properly. An equation works properly if uh, the left hand side of the equation equals the right hand side of the equation. So, the left hand side equals right hand side. Now, Another way of saying this, you get questions that say, uh, another way of saying is that the, the x and the y values make the equation of the line work properly. Well, another way is to say that the point satisfies the equation. It's a strange way of putting it. But if a point lies on a line, the x and y values are said to satisfy the equation. So this is our question. Does the point 2, 6 lie on the line y equals 2x plus 2? Now some textbooks will have that question as saying, does the point 2, 6 satisfy the equation of the line y equals 2x plus 2? Anyway, whichever way they uh, phrase the question, let's see how we do it. We have an x value of 2 and a y value of 6. So we're going to substitute that in. We're going to replace the y with a 6 and the x with a 2 and see if it makes the equation work properly. So you see we've replaced the y with a 6 because the y value was 6 in the point 2, 6. And we're going to replace the x value with 2. Now when 2 and x are together beside each other, we know from our algebra studies, there's an invisible multiply in between them really. So that's why I've done 2 times 2. So we replace the x with a 2. And we have another plus 2 from the, uh, from the original line equation as well. So let's see how that pans out as we simplify. 6 equals 2 times 2, which is 4, plus the other 2 that was in the uh, equation of the line, and we get 6 equals 6. So that seems to have made mathematical sense. It, the, uh, the, point, the values of 2, 6 have made that equation work sensibly, mathematically, and so we can say left-hand side equals right-hand side, and we can conclude then that the point 2, 6 does lie on the line y equals 2x plus 2. We can say that the point 2, 6 satisfies the equation of the line y equals 2x plus 2. Let's see another example. Now another way of saying does a point lie on a line is is saying is asking whether a line passes through a certain point. Same sort of idea really. Does the line y equals 4x minus 3 pass through the point 5 minus 2? Let's have a look. So the x value this time is 5 and the y value is minus 2. So a bit like the last example, or exactly like the last example, we're going to replace the y and the x value with the values from the point. Uh, so the y has been replaced here with a minus 2. And 4 lots of whatever x is, in this case 5, minus 3 from the line, line equation there. So the left hand side equals minus 2. Now the right hand side we have 5 times, 4 times 5 is 20, minus 3. And we uh, simplify that down to minus 2 is supposed to equal 17. I don't think so. That doesn't really make much mathematical sense. The left hand side in this case does not equal the right hand side. And so we can say, in conclusion, no, the line y equals 4x minus 3 does not pass through 5, 2, 5 minus 2. And we could say that the point 5 minus 2 does not satisfy the equation of the line y equals 4x minus 3. So if we get something along the lines of 5 equals 5, or minus 2 equals minus 2, or 7 equals 7, we can conclude yes, the point lies on the line, or yes, the line passes through the point. But if we get something like minus 7 equals 12, or 5 equals 8, or like in this case, minus 2 equals 17, we would conclude no, the point doesn't lie on the line, the line doesn't pass through the point and the point doesn't satisfy the equation. So that's the way that works. We're subbing in the x and y values and seeing if it makes mathematical sense and see if it results, seeing if it results in the left hand side of the equation equaling the right hand side or not. So that's a video on figuring out whether a point lies on a line or whether a line passes through a certain point. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time and uh, for all your videos, uh, for your maths videos, PeterBlakeMath.com. There's plenty of great videos to watch there.
See you next time. Bye.